All right, guys, I lied. Part one is gonna be speed controller. Now, some of you might be saying speed controller, like what? Nothing's wrong with the stock one, and you're right, nothing is wrong with the stock one, but this one is, well, it's the Hobby Wing Quick, Quick Run 860 brushed. I'm pretty sure it was like designed as a Summit replacement. It's got a few things that I find handy, which is why I recommend it as an upgrade. I'll uh, just crack this open real quick and then I'll talk some more about it and why I think it's part one or one of the, it is one of the first things I've changed. So I'll just crack it open and then I'll explain why I think so. Okay, so first things first, I don't really do unboxings or anything, so you're not, that's about what you're going to see as far as unboxings is concerned, because I think they're kind of pointless, but, okay, so first things first, this is the main reason I like this speed controller, it's got an on-off switch, which, if you look at the stock Traxxas EVX2 controller, it's just got this little button, which sometimes gets sticky, and it doesn't even feel that good, and you got to reach in, behind the body to flick it and it's I it always annoyed me so this little switch I think is an upgrade second well most importantly this is also a waterproof speed controller so like I said everything's got to be waterproof and it is the only thing that semi concerns me is these little dip switches which we'll talk more about later but after I set them, I just drop a little bit of waterproofing in there, and then it's been fine. I've driven completely underwater with the speed controller in my first summit, and it's been fine. So, if we compare them, this is the stock Traxxas Summit speed controller. This is the uh, 860. It's actually a bit smaller, a bit lighter, well, hard to say. Similar in weight, doesn't really matter. The 860 is rated for 60 amps continuous, 360 amps burst. The I looked up some specs on the EVX2. It's rated for 30 amps continuous and I think 360 burst. So this one can pull twice as much current. And it's got a pretty beefy heat sink here, so I believe it. I've never had a problem with it and I am running a Dewalt motor, which we'll talk more about later, but so in terms of size and specs and ratings and everything, it's basically a direct direct swap or an upgrade. Like I said, if you're if this one dies on you, instead of buying a Traxxas replacement, I would just get this one. They both have outputs for dual motors. Two here. Two here. Can't quite remember the wire ordering. I'll check on my other summit. We'll go over to that later, but the main reason why I think this should be a part one upgrade is because on the stock ESC you have a dual input and it internally puts your batteries in series which is fine if you're not running anything aftermarket but if you want a single 4S source for say example a Beck or a light bar or a ESS1 plus which I have on my other summit all of that stuff it makes it a little tricky because if you don't do things right you can create a ground loop which then fries your ground wire which is what happened to this one because that was stupid and then you can have a problem because the Beck and this one is internally tapped off the points, a 2S off, blah, blah, blah. Long story short, it makes it weird. So with this one, all you have to do is put a single 4S input into this, and it can handle 4S, just like the stock one. So you just have to buy slash make a series adapter for your two batteries. And then if you want a 4S input for anything else, you just tap it off here and you're good. So that's that's the main reason I bought it. It's uh, super cheap. I'll include a link. 
think it might it's probably cheaper than the stock one and this little switch the single forest input the same ratings and everything it's pretty much a no-brainer all right so i'm just looking in the manual here the only downgrade with the 860 I'm not sure if you can read this probably a little too close but the back output is 3 amps at 5 volts and i believe the stock Traxxas Summit speed controller is 3 amps at 6 volts but that's fine all the servos can handle 5 volts so it should be fine and we'll later be doing a single servo upgrade with its own separate back so all it all the speed control will have to worry about is the three mini servos for the diff lock and the shifting so that should be should be fine setting the throttle range is easy if you get the manual you'll be able to read it it's super simple another upgrade slash fun feature about the 860 is well it has lipo battery um, protection or whatever so that's good and there's also different modes you can put it into forward brake reverse which is what I normally run and there's also a mode for crawler and I've found that that is basically like a drag brake and all you have to do you probably guaranteed you can't see it but you flick the middle dip switch to the right Normally, forward brake reverse, dip switches to the left, dip switch to the left, lipo battery to the left. So you can be out driving, ripping around, and then if you're rock crawling or whatever, all you have to do is flip that little middle switch to the right, and it puts it in crawler mode, which turns on a drag brake. So basically, you have a selectable drag brake with this speed controller. So I think that's a plus as well. I'm not really going to be showing installation with this. It's pretty straightforward. It comes with a little piece of two-sided tape. You can stick on the bottom there, or you just get some of your own better stuff. Stick it in, you have to solder on a connector, and then the motors just plug in here. I'll show you how I installed it on my other one, but you know, not, it's pretty straightforward. It comes with a little cooling fan, which I've never seen the need for, so I just kind of don't include that. Alright, so we're over here at my first summit, and I'll show you how it's installed in this big mess of wires. First things first, this is the series adapter that I made for my two batteries. So this is a series adapter. All you really have to do is Google it. It's pretty simple. So then it goes to a single. Basically, this turns your two 2S batteries into one 4S battery. So it comes into here. And then, like I said, I have a bunch of other stuff coming off, taking the 16.8 volts of a 4S battery go into other stuff. So that makes it super easy. I just have it tucked back in here right beside the motor. It fits fine. I can still fit other stuff. And then the little switch. I just drilled a couple holes and used some tiny little screws to screw it into the battery vent cover. And then it's super accessible back here. You just flick it on and off. Way better than reaching all the way back. The body is here and it's super hard. So the two blue wires here seem to be the negative wires and then the two yellow wires are the positive wires at least that's how it's wired in my case so yeah it drives the motor just fine of same performance as anything else and it's got those bonus features i talked about before so that's why i think the quick run 860 brush speed controller is one of the first upgrades you should do if you're going to be doing a bunch of aftermarket stuff in the future or if your stock speed controller dies just buy this instead of buying the stock Traxxas because just better.